Hey guys, it's Renee. So today we're gonna be making some stars earrings. One pair is more dainty and the other pair is like more festive and sparkly. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is working with some star templates and I draw a couple of like stars and the pictures of this ones are going to be on my blog if you want to follow this exact shapes and I drew them over some like wax paper and yeah I'm just going to be working with a small size and a bigger size going to cut that. I made the template because I didn't have any like star shape but if you had a puncher that has like star shape just go ahead and use that. Then I'm going to be using some polymer clay and I'm going to roll it using my roller that has some like rings on them and those rings are there just so that I can have like the same thickness all around my clay. So then once that's rolled I'm just going to be placing my stars on the top and with a sharpie I'm just going to trace the shape of the star. For the small ones I just need two of them because it's just one pair. For the big ones I'm going to be working with four stars. So once I have the shapes I'm just going to make those pieces of clay. I'm just going to taking my tiny stars and I'm just going to glue my ear posts on the back with some super glue. Then I'm going to be taking a chain. I don't remember what they are called but I'm just going to be cutting two equal pieces out of that. Placing my bigger stars, place them upside down. So I'm just going to be working over the part that's going to be on the back and I'm pretty much going to be gluing the chain on the back of my tiny star and then on the back of like the bigger star. Just make sure that wherever you glue them they look kind of even. And I just help myself with some pliers. Then I'm going to be painting them first with this silver acrylic paint and brush. I'm going to be painting all the stars in front, back, sides, everything. And I'm just going to be using this Elmer's Classic Glitter Glue. It's because I like how pigmented it is. I'm going to be using my brush and I'm going to pretty much cover the uh, stars, giving them a couple of coats, letting them dry in between coats until they look, you know, fun and sparkly and pigmented. These ones are really cute, sparkly, and they add kind of like a dynamic element to an outfit because they move and they sparkle at the same time. They look lovely, by the way, at nighttime because they sparkle beautifully. For the dainty ones, they are pretty easy. I'm just going to be working with a pair of stars. I'm going to be gluing the ear posts on the back, painting them with some wet acrylic paint, giving them a couple of coats until they look opaque enough. And this is how I'm letting them dry in a piece of like a block of foam with the help of my plier. Then I'm going to be decorating them with this uh, two acrylic paints. One is in gold, the other one that I used before, the silver one. And my dotting tool. I do have a DIY for this dotting tool, by the way. It's really easy to make. But I'm just going to be adding some dots all over them in gold and silver. Once they're dry, I'm just going to be adding some gloss. I'm using this Sculpey one, giving them a couple of coats until they are shiny and protected. You can use some top coat for nails as well. I just prefer to work with this because it dries faster and it doesn't smell as much. And this is pretty much it for the dainty ones. I really like them. I think they look super cute and so much fun to wear. They add something really fun and interesting to any outfit as well. I think a really subtle focal point to any outfit because they are white. So yeah guys, these are the two ideas that I want to share with you. So I really hope you like them both or one of them. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out more earrings that I have on my channel and subscribe for more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll text you later and take care. Bye!